Today we are going to build an online code editor where you can write some HTML, CSS and GS code and see the results immediately. It will be a very primitive version of CodePen, but that's not all. CodePen has a feature called Collab Mode. It's a pro feature of CodePen that allows more than one person to edit the code at the same time. This is real-time pair programming at its best, as the CodePen company describes it. For starters, let's take a look into high-level diagram of our app. We will have four main containers in our app. The app, the project, the editor and the browser. Let's jump into the code. Firstly, let's take a look into user-related stuff. We have use auth state hook from React Firebase hooks which returns currently signed in user. Then we use use effect hook to sign in the user anonymously. If user is not yet signed in, we render simple loading text. In order to avoid passing the user object down the component tree, we create user context and wrap the whole app with user context.provider. That way we will be able to retrieve the current user information everywhere we need. Lastly, when user opens up our app, we want to automatically generate a random project ID for him and redirect to that project route. Now the project container. Firstly, we retrieve project ID from URL using useParams hook from React Router. Then we take current user from user context. HTML, CSS and JavaScript code will be saved in Firebase real-time database under specific project ID branch. We used useObjectWall hook from React Firebase hooks to retrieve it and subscribe to code changes in real time. Using this hook is unnecessary and we could do that without it, as you will see a bit later. So currently we just read code values, but we also need a way to write them into Firebase. For that we have on code changed function which creates a reference representing the location in the database corresponding to the provided path. Project ID slash language, HTML, CSS or JavaScript in this case, and sets a value for it. Now that we have CRUD operations ready, we can put them to use. As you can see, we create three instances of editor component. One for HTML, one for CSS and one for JavaScript and pass the corresponding values as props. To render the actual code editor, we are using React Code Mirror 2 library. We pass options object, which basically is a configuration object for the code mirror editor. We configure a theme to be used, line numbers to be shown, and mode to use to get a syntax highlighting depending on the code language. Then we pass a code prop as a value and a function to be called whenever the code was changed in the editor. This function will call our onCode changed function we passed from the project container, which writes a code to Firebase database. There are a couple more props on the code mirror component, but we will cover them a bit later. As of now, we already covered how we read and write HTML, CSS and JavaScript code to Firebase. Last part is to combine these three and render the results for the user. For that, we have a browser component. We pass HTML, CSS and JavaScript code values to it. To render the code, we use an iframe and save a ref using user ref hook because we'll be generating the iframe source manually. Whenever HTML, CSS or JavaScript code has been changed, this use effect hook will be called. Firstly, it takes content window document value from iframe ref. Secondly, we use document.open method, which clears the current content and opens the document for writing. Then we build iframe source with the current CSS, HTML and JavaScript values and write it to iframe document. Lastly, we close the document. As you can see, there is one more step to bind iframe mouse move events, but more on that later. So we have a basic functionality. Users can already collaboratively write the code in HTML, CSS and JavaScript editors and check the results on the browser. To make a project a little bit fancier, we will add a couple more things. First, collab mode notification when other users have joined your project. And also we will track, save and show the mouse cursor movements as well as the carrot positions of the other users. Let's start with collab mode notifications. For that we have a custom hook named use collab mode. The idea is simple. When a user opens up a specific project, we save his user ID under that project slash participants branch. If current user is the only one registered under that project, collab mode is off, as he's the only one editing that project at the moment. 
otherwise the collab mode is on and we will show the notification. So firstly, in our custom hook, we create memorized database ref for specific project participants branch and an empty React ref for current participant reference, which will be used for cleanup later. Then we have a use effect hook for registering the participant. We push current user ID to participants list and save the returned reference in participant ref. Second use effect hook responsibility is to check if collab mode is on or off. So we subscribe to project participants using use object while hook. All participants is the object holding Firebase database unique IDs as keys and user IDs as values. So we iterate through values user IDs and filter out current user ID. If filtered participants contains at least one user ID, and collab mode is currently off, we turn it on using use, set sta use state. Else, if filtered participants is empty and collab mode was on, we turn that off. Finally, we define collab mode cleanup function, which basically will remove the current user from participants branch in Firebase database. This custom hook is then used in projects container. For actual notification, we will be using React Notifications component library. In another use effect hook, we remove all the current notifications and add a new one with the message and type depending on whether collab mode is on or off. Also, we need to add a React Notification component in our render function. And finally, in use before unload hook from React before unload library, we call our collab mode cleanup function, which will remove the participant from the list whenever he closes the browser. For mouse cursor position tracking, we also have a use mouse position custom hook, which is similar to collab mode one. We are reading all mouse positions saved under project ID slash mouse positions reference in the database, filtering out the current user mouse position and returning the rest. Also, we have a function to save current user mouse position with some debouncing and a cleanup function. We use this hook in project container. We define on mouse move event listener, which will call previously demonstrated save mouse position function and save X and Y coordinates to Firebase. To render and animate the mouse cursor of the other user, we are using Framer Motion library. We render mouse pointer icon and animate its movements using motion.div component by passing animate prop with X and Y coordinates. Also, we call mouse position cleanup on before unload. One thing to mention though, since we are using iframe in our browser, we need to bind iframe mouse move event listener and dispatch a custom mouse move event with bubbles through property. Otherwise, it won't be catched by on mouse move in project container. Okay, so we have a collab notification, we have mouse cursor position tracking. Last feature we want is carrot position in the editors. For that, we have our last custom hook called use carrot position. It's almost identical to mouse one. It saves current carrot position along with the editor information. If this position is on HTML, CSS, or JavaScript editor, it returns currently saved carrot positions and provides a cleanup function. This hook is used in the editor container. Code mirror component has a on cursor method, which is called with current carrot position within the editor. So we use that to save that information to Firebase. Whenever carrot position prop changes, we create a custom blinking carrot position cursor and attach it to the editor. And as always, clean up on before unload. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.